Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and what a year 2020 has been. 2020 will go down in the books as one of the worst years possible, not only for its awful economic crashes, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the social injustice that has been brought upon uh, people of color, and so many more things. But I do have to give everyone a round of applause for making it through 2020 because I know many many people haven't. And I don't take I don't I don't take it lightly when I say like a round of applause. It's just more so just we're here. We made it. We made it past um we made it past 2020. And I don't want us to forget this year by any means. But we I want us to look back on this year and be like, "Hey, remember that crazy time?" where everything just seemed to unravel all at once. That 2020 literally had it out for us. I want us I want us to think back to this year. I want us to remember those people that put their lives on the line every single day. Our nurses, our doctors, uh and to the people that completely ignored everything other pe uh the researchers, the experts have said and put everyone else in danger. I kind of realized that there are people in my life that I no longer needed. And this year has opened my eyes, not only for socially and justicely, if that's even a word to use, uh, but like I seen their viewpoints on where they morally stand. And a lot of the people I left out of my life now, I'm glad because why? Because they're selfish and they're the type of people that are just aren't willing to change or the type of people that aren't willing to see the injustices that are happening around us. They're just wanting to do their own damn thing. And to each their own, everyone can do their own damn thing. But I mean, this year has definitely taught us that this disease or anything we don't truly understand, knowing exactly kind of what's going on, but some it could possibly mutate. It could change into something. Any, anything like this, it's going to always be hard to completely understand. There's no 100%. There's always going to be that 99% or, and then that 1% there is going to be, hey, I'm still here. I can still change. But I want us to look back on the positive things. For me, this year, personally, has been rough. I live by myself um, and mentally has taken quite a toll on me. I haven't really, I, I see maybe the same group of people often um, enough to quench that thirst for human interactivity, human touch, human talk, just human interaction. But I know many people were not as lucky as I am. I still have my job. I'm very grateful that I still have my job. And uh, I'm grateful to have people that are willing to be as careful as they can when it comes to this virus around me. And uh, while I do live by myself, I get to choose what I want to do. It does. It did drive me pretty crazy, especially the first four, four or so months where I didn't know what I could do. I didn't know who I could see. I didn't know who I could talk to. I didn't know what to do exactly. But now I'm here and I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only person that has gone through this. I know I'm not just babbling along some stupid story or stupid experience and I wouldn't even say an experience is stupid we can't compare ourselves to each other we've all gone through something very different this year we've all gone through something that we need to keep looking forward from we need to keep our head strong and I know how tough that could be because sometimes the best we can do is just get out of bed and that's and that's a good sign we need to pat ourselves on the back this year. We need to be positive. We need to look, hey, we survived 2020. We we did what we could. We did what we thought was right. And you stood by your your morals, your your stances. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you that you decided to stay home and make sure everyone was safe. I'm I'm proud of you for the fact that you were able to stay strong in such a terrible time. And I'm here for you. I, I understand how you feel I, to a certain extent because I can't completely understand your situation or exactly how you feel, but I understand at least the base of it. And I know you've not been alone. 
There are millions of other people out there that are going through the same exact thing. And we need to realize that we're awesome. We can keep each day uh, to ourselves and then keep growing from those. And what I mean by that is, I didn't say it the best. I've never been great at uh, structuring my sentences in their correct format. Uh, just because of how I grew up and everything, uh, talking was hard for me. And being able to make or being able to formulate sentences in a manner that people can understand could was hard for me a lot growing up. I've become better at it, but still. But what I mean by my previous statement is that every every day we've worked on ourselves, whether it be in a good direction or a bad direction. I don't want to hear people saying, well, I could have uh, worked out every day or another person saying to another person, well, you should have worked out every day. You had all the time in the world. But you, they don't understand you, that each and every situation is different. Everyone has a different way of going about things. It took me a while just to get out of bed and switch out of sweats because of COVID. I was in a dark place at the beginning. I was very sad. I was very lonely. And now, like, looking back on it, I'm glad... I was able to get through it with the people around me and me realizing that there are people going through the same exact thing as me right now. While it's not like a great thing to think about, it means I'm not alone. It means I'm not alone in this and neither are you. We are all here. We are all in this together. And I'm so very thankful for each and every one of you. And I'm so very happy that each and every one of us are safe, happy and healthy. What I want to look back on 2020 positively, uh, is the fact that it allowed me to grow my platform exponentially. I did get a lot more computer time, hence my computer glasses. Uh, I've been wearing them a lot more just because I don't want to mess up my eyes completely. But I, the one thing that COVID brought me that has definitely helped me is the time I am able to put into myself. And what I want to achieve. And I'm so very grateful for that. But I cannot wait to get the fuck out of my apartment. <laughs> like I cannot wait to go outside, breathe fresh air without a care in the world. I don't want to go outside and have to watch my every step, watch my every move and think to myself, am I going to get sick? Am I, is this going to happen? I don't want to think that. But I, we're going to have to wait until we all get vaccinated. We're going to have to wait until everything else happens. So in the meantime, let's look forward to 2021. And let's look back to 2020 in a more positive manner. But never forget the people that put their lives on the line for us. And the social injustice that is still happening. And the amount of, not hate per se, but... The amounts that our government hasn't really done for us, you know, in a sense. As an American, I'm not exactly proud of my nation. I'm not proud of it at all. The way they handle, they handle this entire thing. Honestly, it was just fucked. It was fucked. It was awful. It was the worst. And what I think people need to realize is that we, as an American sy system, and as American society... This, this whole year has shown us that our American government fucking blows. If you haven't seen that even from earlier on, even before 2020, open your fucking eyes. <laughs> holy hell, holy, my goodness gracious. It's been insane. It's been insane. And I could, I could go on for hours to, talking about everything wrong with America, but... There, and I could also talk about go on for hours talking about everything that's right within America. That's right with the people that are my neighbors. That's right with the people that I know and love and cherish that my fellow person could do. It's just, let's, let's not look negatively on this year. No matter how many negative things came our way, let's look at the positives and look forward to 2021. Let's do that. Let me know in the comments down below what your goal is for 2021. And let's not list like to get vaccinated because I mean, I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that's everyone's already set goal. It's what I'm saying. Like a goal you want to achieve in 2021. 
let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. And I'm hap and I'm so happy to hear that everyone is that every one of you is happy, safe, and healthy. And I hope you guys have had great holidays with your family members, your loved ones, or even if you spent it by yourself, I hope you had a great holiday in general. And I look forward to you guys so much and I'm so happy and I'm so very grateful for what a wonderful community this has, has been for me. And I can't wait to make more content for you guys in the future. My goal for 2021 is to go out and do everything on my to-do list for the city I moved into. I have a massive to-do list and that's my main goal is I want to go out and see as much stuff that this beautiful city has to offer. I want to experience it. I want to experience it. And I'm not going to take it for granted anymore. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, let's push it off to next weekend. I'm doing it. I'm going out as much as I can. I'm going to experience as much as I can. And then hopefully once I finish that to-do list, I'll start another one and go traveling. I really want to experience more and more. This year has just shown me personally that we can't take anything for granted. Not even the smallest grain of salt cannot take it for granted. Thanks, guys. Highly appreciate your time. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye and Happy New Year.